The completion of the 2022 season marked the beginning of a new era in St. Louis, as the Cardinals were going to have to find their new long-term catcher, something they never really had to worry about in the past. Yadier Molina was always that guy, someone who was never necessarily a great hitter, but his bat was good enough to stay in the lineup most of the time, with his ability to play good defense behind the plate helping his case as well. And on top of that, he always worked really well with his pitching staff, seemingly getting the best out of them, and became a big part of the Cardinals' success over the years. Being a part of two championships and plenty of playoff teams throughout his 19-year career, one that was now coming to a close. And for good reason, as he was not the same. 2022 was the fourth year in a row with Molina being a below average hitter, and it was just clearly time for him to hang up the cleats and call it a career. So with that, the search for a new catcher began, and it actually didn't take that long for the Cardinals. In early December, the Cardinals struck a deal with longtime Cub catcher, now free agent Wilson Contreras, on a five-year, $87.5 million deal, committing to him as the Molina replacement and someone who will hopefully thrive in that role for years to come in a Cardinal uniform. If you're part of the 70% of viewers not subscribed yet and enjoy the content, make sure to hit that button and join the wonderful subscribers of the channel as, unfortunately, Contreras and the Cardinals' time together has been everything but smooth and successful. I will give Contreras this though. It's not like he's having or has had a very bad year, at least hitting wise. He had a really bad May, hitting 158 with a 555 OPS over 26 games. But other than that, he's been a solid bat. He had a good April, a bad May, like I said, a better June, and then as far as this month has gone, July, he has been one of the best hitters in baseball. Now, is that going to last? No, obviously not, but he is still putting up really good production at the plate and helping the Cardinals out, a team that's unfortunately been having a really crappy season. Going into the 2023 season, the Cardinals were the easy favorites to win the National League Central. They had the best looking roster, at least on paper, but most definitely haven't played like it. They're currently at the bottom of the division with the Pirates and are planning to be sellers in the upcoming trade deadline. Even though they've been a bad team, they still have some good players other teams would want in a heartbeat, with Nolan Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt obviously leading those names. But with that said, there have been recent reports that Wilson Contreras is available on the trade market. Yes, despite just arriving to his new team and still in the middle of year one of five, the Cardinals already seem ready to get rid of him. Back in May, the Cardinals made the decision to remove Contreras from the starting catcher's position and make him a designated hitter for at least a little bit. And obviously, that just seemed off immediately. Half of the reason you're paying Wilson Contreras to begin with is the fact that he's a catcher and you want him to be behind the plate for you along with his bat on offense. So turning him into just a hitter defeats half of the entire purpose you signed him to begin with. Not that long after that decision, though, Contreras is put back as a catcher, but later on after that, and more recently, more news was revealed about the whole situation. Michael Kay, of all people, the play-by-play -play announcer for the Yankees, was able to get some info regarding what was going on. Kay was talking to a lot of Cardinals people, and apparently they took Contreras out from behind the plate because he was calling pitches that the pitcher on the mound didn't have. For example, he would be calling a cutter for a pitcher that didn't even throw a cutter, and the pitchers were going crazy. By this point, even though he is catching some games, he's not the everyday catcher anymore and has had his playtime back there limited, with the team giving many games to a couple other catchers as well. Nothing about Contreras' 2023 defensive numbers have been necessarily bad or anything. In fact, they're pretty in line with how they've always been, but clearly the Cardinals are not too impressed with how he's been back there. Now, maybe part of it is the fact that they pretty much only had one guy back there for the last two decades, so it's going to be hard to live up to that reliability. But the Cardinals already seem willing to give up on trusting Contreras for the rest of his contract. Will he be traded? We don't know yet. We'll find that out soon enough, but what we do know is that I gotta guess that if the Cardinals could redo some things, they would choose not to give Wilson Contreras the contract that they gave him back in December. I have a hard time believing that their plan all along was for them to sign someone for $87.5 million to play catcher here and there, while also spending a lot of time just being a designated hitter doesn't seem too smart and it's becoming more and more noticeable that the Cardinals aren't the biggest fans of Contreras and what he has to bring behind the plate into his pitching staff. So much so that they're willing to trade him before he even makes it one year into his five-year contract. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.